Good morning, YouTube. What's going on, guys? It's been a little while. Haven't seen you guys for a little bit, but I'm back. I'm here. We have a great shot in the background. Apparently, my dog decided it was time to go number two for the morning. It's early. We're up bright and early, and you're probably wondering, why are you standing in a street next to a boat? And, uh, well, it's because we bought a boat. That's right. So, I wanted to talk you guys through the boat a little bit, tell you what we got, a little bit about it, and I kind of wanted to shoot the video before we bought the boat, but it was raining and it was kind of a nightmare. So, I found this boat. This is actually a 15 foot sea nymph, um, 14 or 50 and 5, I believe, is the model number of it. Um, but I saw this boat on the internet and uh, I pretty much had to buy it because the price tag on it was great and it came with a motor that I really wanted. So this is my sea nymph right here. And uh, we're going to go ahead and uncover it and I'll talk you guys through it here this morning. <clears throat> Alfie, come here. Alfred. Get over here. Alright, All right. so we got the board uncovered here so I can show you guys a little closer action. So I'll bring you guys over here. <clears throat> so, for me, a boat is all about a motor. And the most important thing is how big that motor is. And if you ain't got a big motor, you got a slow boat. Now I know some guys out there got some bass boats that got bigger motors than me, but for me, this was it, the 25 horse Johnson. Now the boat can take a little bit bigger motor if you can find one, but I was happy to find this in a two stroke. This is a 1999 model, kind of a rare bird. It's a three cylinder motor. Um, not a whole lot of them out there. If you have a, a tiller version of this and you want to sell it, let me know. It's a J25 EEM. Um, uh, I'd like to have a duplicate of it. Um, it's a great motor so far. Um, the day that we actually test drove it, the motor was really what sold the boat because in a little boat like this, having a big motor gets you fish faster and it's more fun. So let's just be honest here and let's just say it's more fun. So the 25 horse Johnson, it's got power trim and tilt. So nice buttons in here and then in the bolt that I can actually push. Um, the motor itself is in really good condition. I dinged it up just maybe a little bit on its first couple test runs, but in amazing shape. So I'm just going to move you guys over here a little bit more and we'll talk about this part of the boat. So when I first got this boat, um, it had a hummingbird basic fish finder in it and that had to go. So what we have done is to actually replace that unit with uh, this hummingbird here. And you see it there. Come around to the other side. Now, <clears throat> it was kind of hard to make a decision. We'll talk about that a little bit later today. 
on exactly how I wanted to do things. So, there are a lot of fish finders out there. There's a lot of options, and we'll talk a little bit more about what I think about certain fish finders and, and the different brands out there. But so the boat is set up real nice. So we've got the driver's seat in the back here, which is obviously my preferred spot. Some accessories. The boat is a little dirty. Bunch of other accessories up front. So basically my idea here was is to load the boat up with all the stuff that I thought that I need. We'll kind of purge through, but a few things that are really essential for a boat. Number one is a net. It's very hard to catch fish from a boat without a net. So buy a net when you buy your boat. And I was lucky my boat came with a cover. And uh, so um, having my boat covered is really nice. It allows me to be able to get out here on a morning like this and uncover the boat and everything's dry and ready to go. Um, the guy that had this boat, this is actually 1989, was an older gentleman and he took amazing care of the boat. Obviously, um, it's been well taken care of. It's almost as old as I am. But it still floats great, um, still functions really good, and I, I like the layout. So we have a live well over here in the middle that he was not using, which we started using again, uh, which has had some fish in it already, believe it or not. Um, and so, so we bought this boat. Uh, I found the boat, it was $2,400. And um, crunching some numbers and kind of looking at motors and stuff, I figured out that the motor itself was really worth a lot of the money of the value of the boat. So. With that being said, you know, I tried to look for a 25 horse tiller and it was very difficult to find something that was comparable to what I had. And then trying to replace it or trying to buy a new one, I mean, we're talking five, six grand. So I think it was a really good package. Now, <clears throat> we're going to talk about some of the bads about buying the boat. So I bought the boat from Patuna Bay, uh, which is in Leesburg, Indiana. Uh, the boat was a consignment. so. The owner had brought it in and they were selling it on their behalf. Now, with a um, boat like this being used, normally, you know, buying it from a private party, there's, you know, it's a little bit sketchy. Um, you're never exactly sure what you're going to get, so I wanted to go through a marina. They told me that they had been through the boat and that everything looked good and that, you know, it was mechanically sound. So about three days after I bought the boat, the third trip out, um, the boat actually broke down on us. So we were just idling around a lake. We were up on a series of three lakes and the boat actually broke down. And, and when it broke down, it shut off and I took the cover off and there was smoke rolling out of it. So we melted the um, flywheel cover on the boat. Had to get towed off the lake, taken back. We, we got back and got the boat back to the marina and uh, took it back to the shop and they basically told me that um, they'd have to fix it. So I took it into the service shop, I think it was on a Friday actually. And then I think actually by like Monday or Tuesday they called me back and told me that they had it ready. And uh, when I got to the shop I talked to the tech and actually um, he showed me a picture, or he actually showed me the impeller and the impeller was pretty much flattened out. All, there's, there's blades on the impeller and I can actually show you the part later. but. Uh, so they were flattened out. So uh, the very first experience with my brand new boat was getting stranded on the lake with my wife on one of our first trips and then having to take it back to the marina to have it serviced and $500 later, I got my boat back. So we're finally getting around to making this YouTube video. It's been raining. It's been just one thing after another with the boat because we've now moved the boat. We've um, come up to Wisconsin here. Um, this is where I'm originally from. There's lots of really cool lakes up here. We're going to be doing a bunch of YouTube videos around here. i got a ton of stuff to do. Um, but the boat was the first start, and I wanted to kind of show you guys through the boat before we get on the lake with it. So this is kind of um, the rundown of the boat. And uh, we're going to talk about some of the electronics in a separate video. So I have a Hummingbird. We're going to do a, a Lowrance uh, mount on here today. Um, that's my next project, and we'll film that and let you know how it goes, guys.